Hello friends, welcome back to School Management System in Laravel. In this video, I will explain how to divide means how to roll wise user can log in. So we can use here a middleware. So yesterday we did like a login. Let's open login page. So I just let's go to website first. I refresh the website. So let me change this name. So I can type here login. We have already created one user admin at the gmail.com. Go to user tables and we have already created password 126. So right now I will add a three user also like the students, teachers and parents. Let's copy. I don't want to add new, I just copy and go. Because email is a duplicate, this is not working. I will change the name uh, teachers. Here I can talk about the teachers. And I will create another account schools. I will create another account parents. And I will also create a one column here is admin. Means admin is equal to one, teacher is equal to two, school is equal to three, and parents is equal to four. So let's create a one column like a user type. Uh, let's make a column name user type, okay? So, Types. Any PNG by default I can set as students. Okay. Once means uh, admin. Two means uh, teachers. Let's make a three. The three means is a students. Three means student and the fourth means parent. I save it. Let's change one by one user types. Okay, one. So this is the admin account. This is the teacher's account. Two. And schools means three. And different means four. So we have provided four types. Like one admin, two teacher, three students, and four parents. Okay. You can see right now I log in for this account wise in our system. One, two, three, four, five, six. So also working. You see, is going to admin. Suppose I log out. I already create one link logout team. I refresh. Now I go to this one. I have already log out, but still opening. So what we need to do? We need to create a role by login. Okay, impossible to log in because we have already log out. So let's create. Open your terminal and let's create a middleware. PHP artisan make middleware. Admin, I will create a for middleware. Admin, admin middleware, student middleware, teacher middleware, and parents middleware. Taking time, some time. Once create, after I can create a new ones. Okay, you can see middleware already exists. Oh, I am wrong software means wrong project so I can go back and I will open our current let's php artisan artisan make middleware admin middleware okay taking time okay you can see it middleware successfully created with he provided type where is the creator okay now we can create another pictures 
fifty is many capitals. Make it two down. And last one we can make it parents. Let's go to our code and app HTTP middleware. So you can see it is a for middleware. Admin, student, teachers, and parents. Where is the parents? Parents, parents. So we can provide a type by working here. So here you can make use auth. Suppose if auth check is not empty means so user login if user is a login so going to inside otherwise going to outside means else part we can type like a or log out and redirect to home page Now we can check another request. Okay, this is the admin middleware. So, if or user, let me go to in our database. What is the column name? So our column name is the user type. So copy user name column. Put is equal to is equal to one. I can remove two words. Okay, so no issue. So going to inside and same process work. Otherwise, going to else part, he can use a logout. Same copy paste this word here. Now same thing we can do in a student. Paste here. I just copy paste everything. And I will change here to student type to three. So three. Same we can go in our teachers. I will copy paste also. Paste here teacher means two. And I will also copy and I will also make in parents. Four. Here I can type use for because we need to call the function means uh, class for class. Okay. Now we have already created for middleware, but we need to call in our root. So first of all, we need to go. To kernel means you need to go HTTP inside. Uh, you can find out one file kernel dot php. So inside you need to go middleware alias. So we need to create some alias. Okay here. So I copy. Uh, let's copy. We need to provide a path. So I think this is the auth path. I can copy here. First alias name is means the group name admin. So we can provide here name. Admin middleware. I can copy paste four times. Students, so student middleware. Teacher, so teacher middleware. And parents, so parents middleware. You can change your name. Student, teachers. And last one is a parent. Okay, now you can open your web dot php, and we can create a groups here. So let's create one group for middleware. Group, group, here you can write the middleware. What is the middle admin? So here only we work admin groups. Functions. The admin groups. Now I create a like a student, teachers, teacher outs, and, and here the student. And you can go to and you can put your parents. So everyone working has a user tag guys so i can copy this text means uh, we can copy and put here 
you can see it okay i copy and put here i can type here teacher dashboard i copy and put here student dashboard same as current dashboard Okay, we have created four middle pairs and four routes like the admin, teachers, student, and parents. Now we can go our website. User right now is open the website, but once I will refresh, is going to login page. Let me show you. So you see login page because right now no any user login. We have declared here middleware inside admin. So admin where is the call inside corner. Corner where is the call? Admin middleware. So admin middleware check. Okay, he is user login. No, he is not login. So he is going to here. And suppose he can check the user type is equal to 1. So he is going to here. And else part he can log out. Let's log in admin at the gmail.com. So first I can go to inside our controller, auth controller. We can make here type. If auth user so user user type is equal to, equal to 1 so when here let's copy else if Then change the ID one, two, three, and four. So maybe here your parents. Here we can make a student. Here we can make a teacher. Okay. And same as we can copy these lines and put here because suppose you log in, so it's going to same as redirection. Okay. Now let's log into admin account admin at the red gmail dot com 1 2 3 4 5 6 so i log in so you can see the like here login as admin suppose i will change to root here to done term right so i refresh so admin account automatic logout because he is a no access why we can we have already declare inside a web you see student student inside who is a middle student dashboard student inside who is a middleware create student student is showing here who is a calling student middleware so let's go to the middleware so you can see it is a if user type is equal to three so he can access otherwise he's going to log out and he's going to back to login screen let's log in the student account students at the resume.com password one two three four five six so you can see it here roots the students at the red gmail.com let me here check sorry we have type school not student student i can change to student one two three four five six one two three four five six i also make a reminder me login so you see student dashboard I have Suppose I need to access teacher dashboard. So I can type here teachers. So automatic he log out because now here no access. Same as a admin have no access about student. So student have no access about admin. Only his access vice versa. So student is a student access, teacher, teacher, school, school means admin, admin, and parent is a parents. In this video, I will show you how to work user role wise login using the middleware and how we can create a middleware group and group wise login. So you can see it login, admin, all thing work and we tomorrow we can do means a new video we can do like a create a dashboard controller and we can use a different different dashboard wise access of, of the admin, teachers, student and parent. Do you want to like this video? So please like this video and do you want to need more like this video? So please subscribe our channel. Thank you for watching.